Hi friends, welcome to my channel. This is Mehjubeen and I bring before you both English and history related videos. Currently, I am focusing on Indian history and in this video, we are going to examine the main events that led to the Battle of Plassey in India in 1757. We are also going to look into the aftermath of this battle. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And now to the Battle of Plassey. The Battle of Plassey occurred when Sirajuddola, the Nawab of Bengal, made a demand to the English East India Company that they should conduct their trade under his authority. The English, of course, did not listen to his demand. By this time, the First and the Second Carnatic Wars in India were already over. Each of these wars had been fought by the English on one side and the French on the other side. The victory of the English against the French in each of these wars had made the English feel very powerful. They anticipated another war with the French and as a result, in 1756, the English East India Company decided to fortify Calcutta. This action of the British angered Sirajuddola. He felt threatened by the British, so he decided to retaliate. In the month of June 1756, Sirajuddola marched to Calcutta. He occupied Fort William, which was the main trading station of the English in Bengal. The Nawab imprisoned many British officers who were unable to flee from the fort. This action of the Nawab angered the British. A new situation for war between the two parties was born. In the early part of 1757, Robert Clive arrived on the scene. He was a British Major General and a ruthless military commander. He led a strong naval and military force to Calcutta and seized Fort William back. He also forced the Nawab of Bengal, Sirajuddola, to agree to all the demands of the British. One of those demands was the restoration of the English East India Company's trading privileges in Bengal. Robert Clive also compelled the Nawab to allow the company to fortify Calcutta. The English East India Company's officials became overly ambitious. They conspired with some of the nobles of Sirajuddola's court. Their intention was to replace Sirajuddola with a puppet Nawab. So they chose Mir Zafar for the purpose. Mir Zafar was the commander of Nawab Sirajuddola's army. Mir Zafar made a secret pact with the English that in exchange for the title of the new Nawab of Bengal, he would pay the British a large sum of money. He would also grant them the privileges of trading in Bengal. After the English had made this secret agreement with Mir Jafar, they came to Sirajuddola with a series of unreasonable demands. Sirajuddola refused to comply with the wishes of the company and made preparations for war with the British. He had no knowledge of the conspiracy going on behind his back. The armies of Sirajuddola and the British met at Plassey in 1757. Finding that Mir Zafar had turned a traitor, Sirajuddola fled the battlefield. Mir Zafar was made the Nawab of Bengal by the British. Now let's look into the result of the Battle of Plassey. The Battle of Plassey marked the beginning of the English East India Company's political superiority in India. After the year 1757, the company began to export bullion from Bengal to China. The English trading became more powerful than their other European rivals. After the Battle of Plassey, the company also gained absolute right to free trade in Bengal, Bihar and Orissa. Moreover, the English East India Company also received the Zamindari of the 24 Parganas near Calcutta. Mir Zafar, the new puppet Nawab after Sirajuddola, had to pay an astronomical sum of money to the company and its traders as compensation for their attack on Calcutta. Mir Zafar also paid a high amount of bribes to the officials of the East India Company. Now Mir Zafar could not keep the company happy for a very long period of time 
because he eventually tried to control the corrupt trading practices of the British. He was replaced by his son-in-law Mir Qasim in 1760. Mir Qasim gave the company the right to collect revenues from Burdwan, Midnapur and Chittagong districts of Bengal. Thus, the Battle of Plassey of 1757 changed the fortune of the English East India Company totally. From being a trading company, it became a political authority in India. Robert Clive was rewarded with the post of Governor of Bengal. Slowly, Calcutta became the capital of British India. Well, that's all for today. Give this video a like if you have found the content useful. This really supports my channel and I'll meet you again with another video. Until then, bye.